Hello, hello, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. This is on the seal, of course, and uh, welcome back to another video. Hey ho, hey ho, we on the bandwagon go. Da -da -da -da. Okay, I'm fucking late. I've been sick. Okay, I'm finally back. You probably can hear it in my voice a little bit still, but it is mostly fixed. There's still a little bit of scratching that's going on and tickling in the throat and some coughing and 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 paper usage, you know? Uh, God damn it, I hate being sick, it fucking sucks, and I, I blame it all on the fucking Danish. At least we beat them in the Battle for the One tournament. But okay, so let's get going. We're jumping on the bandwagon when it comes to hating on YouTube. Uh, a lot of YouTubers have been making these kinds of videos lately, and I thought it was kind of time for me to make one as well, because I see so many comments. I see maybe two to five comments on each of my fucking videos saying like, why is Anders losing subscribers? And most most of the time people will say, because I stopped playing CSGO, that's why he's losing subscribers. No, I am not losing any more subscribers now than ever, okay? I am losing all from 150 to 300 subscribers every day. And I have been for the last five fucking years on YouTube, okay? This has been going on forever, and you know why? It's because people simply get sick of your shit. I have made fucking 5,000 plus videos on YouTube. Some people, I can't even believe that they stick around my channel for this long and keep on watching. But the only reason you actually see that I'm losing subscribers now, previously if you check Social Blade and similar, you will see it's always like plus, it's on the up and up, so to say, it's good stuff. That's because my channel used to be doing very well. And when your channel is doing very well, you get videos out, one or two videos every day, the videos get some search results now and then, and maybe once or twice a year you get a video that gets really good search results, close to a million or half a million views or something like that, you get a lot of new subscribers from that, especially when new games like Battlefield 1 come out and similar, and you get a lot of search results, or when new cases came out in CSGO, a lot of new people will subscribe. So you never see those 150 to 300 people that unsubscribe every single day, simply because there's more people subscribing than unsubscribing. I, however, can see exactly how many people unsubscribe every day and how many people do subscribe. You can only see the final number. So, even though people might think my channel's doing poorly, I mean, it is though, I mean, let's be honest, I I got checked by the IRS, my channel started doing poorly, I got depressed, the channel did even more poorly, I got more depressed, and basically six months went on without a single stream, and maybe only let's say 50 or 60 videos for like half a year. That might seem like, oh, 50, 60 videos, that's quite a lot of videos, Anders. I usually put out 40 to 60 videos a month normally. One to two videos every single day, that's what you have to put out to get search results on some, get enough views to pay for rent and such. It, it's that's That's what it takes, but the thing is, YouTube have new rules set by, or YouTube have had these rules for a long, long time, but you can't really tell it until now. Uh, basically, if you don't watch two or three or four of my videos in a row, YouTube will start uh, thinking, oh, he might not be so interested in the Anders Eel videos any longer, so we won't show him any more Anders Eel videos. If he keeps, or if this, this imaginary person keeps on not watching my videos and don't unsubscribe by himself, uh, YouTube will go after a couple of weeks or a month or two, uh, he's not interested in this Anders Eel guy anymore. Let's unsubscribe for him. Bloop, and you're unsubscribed for me, and you won't see any more of my videos again, until if you see some videos in the search results, or someone, like, links my video or shares it to you or whatever. And this has been going on on YouTube for a very, very long time. I honestly haven't been able or bothered to make a video until now. I just felt like, fuck it, let's jump on the bandwagon. Boogie is making videos, PewDiePie is making videos about this. And, and my channel is actually doing just as well as PewDiePie's channel is. About 1 in 50 of my subscribers watch my videos. And about 1 in 50 of... PewDiePie's subscribers watch his videos. However, though, he has 50 million subscribers, so he gets about a million views per video. And I have about 600,000, or actually, it might be one in 60 then, or something. But oh, no, some videos get close to 20,000 as well, so sometimes I might do better than PewDiePie. Never mind, though. It's like, yes, my channel is not doing good. 
it's not dying, but it's not doing good. F simple fact, I am getting no search results. I'm not getting those new viewers. Even though I made a lot of videos on cool weapons, new things in Battlefield 1, for example, almost none of those videos got any search results. Meaning that you get no new subscribers, meaning that the people that always unsubscribe, that always is there unsubscribing every single day, you see them. And that's the thing. It has nothing to do with CSGO. If you think it has to do with me quitting CSGO, you're fucking dumb. And you probably don't even think there's problems with CSGO, for God's sakes, okay? I've fucking played video games for like 16 goddamn years now, okay, of my life. I, there's a lot of fucking issues with Valve and with CSGO. They just don't give a fuck anymore, okay? It's like, just look at games like Overwatch. How much better the support and, and the balancing is compared to CSGO. Oh, what do we get? Fucking glove updates? New skins? New stupid sounds that ruin the feeling of the game? But uh, wait, 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 wait. Haven't we had issues with hackers for the longest time? And smurfs and shit? No, no. Valve doesn't give a fuck about them. Because when they get banned sooner or later, it will happen. They have to just buy a new account and that gives them more money. You see? That's how it works. So, basically right now, the channels doing the best on YouTube right now are drama channels and prank channels, especially the fake prank channels. And let me just fucking put this clear. If you think any of the pranks you see on YouTube are real, you're a fucking moron. There's like none of the pranks are real. Almost every fucking single prank is staged, okay? Because you know what? They wouldn't get to show the people's faces otherwise. Some of the prank channels are quite clever. They, they on purpose make sure to blur people's faces, even if they're actors, just to make you think their videos are real, but they aren't, okay? And then you have channels like Leaf is Here and H3H3 and that kind of stuff that kind of live on the YouTube drama itself, making videos about other YouTubers, making videos about kids fucking uh, bull them and that kind of shit like that stuff sells and you know what because YouTube is about 80% fucking kids that's why Stampy and fucking Elsa and Spider-Man plays games and and fucking kids toys channels exploding right now okay YouTube is not what it used to be YouTube is bigger than ever better than ever in many ways actually uh, YouTube is actually better than ever for people watching YouTube YouTube is probably the worst it's ever been for the content creators however it is, has never been harder to succeed on YouTube if you do make a new channel right now uh, and you don't do any clickbaity thumbnails you don't lie and cheat your way to the top but you still manage to get somewhere on YouTube you have done a fucking good job. I would never be able to get anywhere on YouTube right now. Maybe if I put my mind to it that I'm really gonna cheat the system and, and stretch and bend every single rule. But YouTube probably wouldn't do anything about it anyways. That's the thing about YouTube. YouTube doesn't give a fuck. YouTube gives a fuck about the monies. The monies. Yes, 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 the monies. That's the only thing they care about. They don't care about me because they know there's another dumb fucking Swedish guy the next door over that would be happy to sit in his fucking underwear making YouTube mini videos for a living, for God's sakes. Okay, I'm actually not sitting in my underwear. I gotta, I gotta prove. Someone, someone keeps on spreading rumors that I'm sitting in my underwear in every single video. It's okay though, it's okay. I don't mind that. It seems, it kind of seems dudish, kind of shillish. Seems like a cool guy would sit in his underwear all day. But no, I, I, I don't, okay? I do wear clothes, even though I work from home. I think I maybe made one single video ever in my underwear. And obviously there wasn't a camera on then, for God's sakes. Uh, I always have like a, a terrible fear, like a reflection is gonna show something or something like that, you know? So I always keep everything spotty clean. Or spotty clean, that's a lie, but you do know what I mean. But yeah, so... My channel isn't dying. My channel isn't gonna go away. I'm gonna keep on working on my channel as long as I feel like doing it. I'm gonna keep on making videos on whatever I feel like doing. However though, because so many of you guys are adults, you probably noticed that as well. Like, my videos still get good views, but very few likes, very few comments, uh, especially now when I don't do CSGO. And that's because a lot of the kids don't watch my channel anymore. It's mostly adults. About 80% of you guys are around my age. 
20 to 30 years old. The other 20% is either older than that or under 18. And you know what kind of people that li loves to click the like button whenever Kim Star, the gnome master himself, says, Can we try to reach five likes today? Or some other guy goes like, Oh my god, guys, we can do this. We can do this today. We're gonna try to reach for 200,000 likes. You know who eats that shit up? dumbass fucking kids like i don't mind having kids watching my channel but i don't want to be some fucking idiot trying to manipulate my fucking viewers i mean obviously i'm manipulating you now to feel like oh poor anders youtube is trying to fuck him and whatever to rally behind me but that's not really the point i kind of just want to set this record straight because i have mostly adults Adults mostly just watch the fucking video. If there's something they don't like or something they really like, they might leave a comment or a like or a dislike. That's pretty much it. Kids, however, they will click the shit out of that like button when someone goes, Come on, guys! We can reach 200,000 likes! I know we can! Let's do it! You know, you know how it works. Kids fucking fall for that shit. Kids are goddamn dumb. Kids are like you and me, only missing like fucking 50% of their brain. Actually, they still have the brain, it's just they're missing 50% of the knowledge they need to understand how the goddamn world works. And I'm still like learning new things every day and I'm almost 30 now. And I still kind of feel like I'm a kid, to be honest. And I can't blame them. I can't blame teenagers and kids that click the like button all the time. And also, especially if they genuinely like the content the person is making. But the thing is, I don't like to ask my viewers that kind of stuff. And secondly, even if I did, it wouldn't work. Uh, trust me, because I do ask for likes sometimes. And it doesn't get me much, because grown-ups aren't that prone to click the like button and don't get me wrong here don't get me wrong I'm, I'm not blaming you i'm fucking happy you guys are watching i don't give a fuck if you never comment never like never share your view is important okay that pays my bills it makes me happy to see more viewers i don't give a fuck like i would rather have a million views on each video and just five comments on them and five likes on every single video that would be i mean i would be richer as well so of course i would be happier but you know what i mean but this is this is why like my channel isn't dying my channel isn't dying because of csgo uh, my channel isn't dying because i quit some other fucking game way back or mountain blade or whatever mountain blade's coming back by the way CSGO might too someday, who knows, or the next Counter-Strike game, who, who gives a fuck? The, the point is that the way, only way to succeed on YouTube is to get a fuck ton of likes, a fuck ton of comments, and a fuck ton of views. Otherwise you get no search results and no exposure and you can't grow your channel big like you could back in the days when I made a video called How to Find Diamonds in Minecraft. It said exactly what it did in the video, you know. But nowadays you need to cheat. So I'm gonna be completely frank here. I'm going to try to start making more clickbaity titles and clickbaity videos. Or not, the, the videos aren't really going to change, okay? The videos are still gonna be the same uh, because I can't be bothered making stupid bullshit videos, you know? I'm gonna make the same videos I always made. I, I, they might be stupid bullshit videos, I don't know, fuck it. But, but the point is that I'm gonna try to make more clickbaity titles and more clickbaity thumbnails just to compete with everyone else on YouTube because... My thumbnails and my titles are most of the time fucking weak when it comes to the clickbaitiness of the the clickbaitiness type no the the clickbaitish nature of them so to say so yeah I, I mean fuck it if if you feel like oh Anders is selling out or whatever fuck it just unsubscribe don't watch my shit anymore that's cool but I'm just honest with you okay it's like this is this is the facts like if I if you want to keep seeing my videos this is what's gonna happen like I'm gonna have to try to make a little bit more clickbaity titles and a little bit more clickbaity thumbnails and I say a little because obviously I could make them a lot more clickbaity but I don't think I will because I'm kind of a pussy. <laughs> That's the fucking problem with this. Like, we would never end up here if it wasn't for me being a goddamn pussy. Uh, if I did more clickbaity stuff to begin with, like, my channel would never have done poorly at all. I could have uploaded a one video a week only and the channel would still do good. But I did it the good old-fashioned way, making many videos, making sure there was at least a video every day, streaming every week and that kind of stuff. Like, yeah, I, I think you get the point, okay? 
fuck, I've been rambling for like 15 minutes. That's gonna be it for this video, okay? I'm so sorry for making it so goddamn long, but I felt like I needed to, to speak from the heart or whatever. Uh, also, you know, my dyslexia, so I'm not exactly great with uh, typing out a script or whatever what to say. That's, that's not really my thing to begin with either, but yeah. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hopefully this cleared up some of the questions some of you have been having. Hopefully this will explain some of you guys who think, Oh, my channel is dying because I don't play CSGO. Or at least it will explain why some of the titles and... and thumbnails are gonna be more clickbaity. However, though, the videos won't change. The videos are still gonna be the same. I'm gonna try to go back, actually, to some of the good old-fashioned videos where I do kind of these kinds of ranty things, uh, because I think they're pretty good, especially if it's not about YouTube or something you've already heard, but maybe something else, like, I don't know, fucking beggars in Sweden or the immigrants or whatever, I don't know, something <laughs> controversial, at least. Please don't hate me, I'm not a racist, okay? As always, thank you guys so very much for watching. Have a wonderful day! Bye-bye.